the beat that I'm banging is delicious. And if you were suspicious, all that is fictitious. I blow kisses. That puts them boys on rock, rock. And they be lining down the block just to watch what I got. So delicious. You're delicious. It's hot, hot. So You're delicious. You're delicious. Nukin here, back with another Galaxy Heroes episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed that intro as much as I did making it. So I am calling the Grand Master Yoda Jedi team against Darth Nihilus in Phase 1, Yoda-licious. So it's a pun off the Fergie song, if you guys are not aware of Black Eyed Peas. So Yoda-licious is a very strong team. You can do, you know, three to even six million damage against Darth Nihilus in the Heroic Sith Raid. Here's a screenshot right here. My buddy Skelly did six million damage. He's actually gonna be posting an in-depth guide on how to do that later this weekend. I'll link it in the description when it goes live. Be sure to check it out. In this video, what we're gonna do is talk about substitutions. So not everyone has a seven-star Visus Mar, and we should all kind of be working towards that goal of building a fully complete Yodalicious team. But in the meantime, I'm supplying here some substitutions that you can do. So I'm using Jedi Knight Anakin. You can also probably use Ala Secura or R2-D2 as well, or another Jedi character. And we definitely want to replace Visus Mar because she's very important in being able to stabilize after Nihilus and Nihilate. So Barris Offy is a great substitution. So hopefully this video is informative and enjoyable to you guys. And if it is, make sure to smash that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. And now let's get started talking about a little bit about Yodalicious substitutions. First off, let's talk about Zeta. So in my introduction to the Yodalicious team in phase one of the Sith raid, I talked about the Zeta priority order for the team. And here's a screenshot from one of the slides in that video where I talked about that priority order. And I have some good news for some people that were concerned about the amount of Zetas on the team. So if you're looking for alternatives to Visa Smar and some of the other characters on the team, some of the other characters that are actually good are R2-D2, a lot of people already have his Zetas, and also Jedi Knight Anakin and Ala Secura, they don't have any Zetas whatsoever, so you don't need to give them any Zetas. And if you're gonna use Barris Offy to replace Visa Smar, she does have a Zeta, but it's not required to run this team and be successful in the Sith raid. So now let's talk about mods for a minute. Now, I wanna say that my buddy Skelly should be covering mods in depth into his video coming out later this weekend, so be sure to check that out. I will talk about a little bit more in detail about Barris Offy because he's not covering her. I just wanna showcase a few screenshots to show you that this is a very attainable team mod-wise. My Grandmaster Yoda here, here's a screenshot. I'm only running 71 bonus speed coming from the mods, so just a very basic critical damage set, critical damage triangle, offense cross with some offense secondaries. Very attainable. Offense secondaries are much easier to acquire than getting a 20 speed mod, hands down. And my Jedi Knight Anakin, here's a screenshot of him, a whopping 47 speed coming from mods there. That's basically just a speed arrow for the most part. He might be one of my slowest characters that I've ever covered in a raid video, hands down period so very attainable mods now let's talk a little bit about Barris Offy a little bit more in depth for Barris Offy I have a few recommendations for you guys and let me know down in the comments below what works best for you now you can either run six health mods make sure that there are some speed secondaries on those health mods or you can run a four piece speed set and a two piece health set now for the secondaries you're looking for flat health or health percentage you're definitely looking for health primaries on these mods. So let's take a look at the mods here. Health primary circle, and you can see here 373 flat health. So very good there. Here is a health cross with 418 secondary health there. Very good, and I'm running a health primary triangle as well. For the arrow, you can run a health primary arrow as well if you wanna do that, especially if it has you know 10 to 15 secondary speed on it. If not, I would run a 
full five dot speed arrow with some secondary health on that arrow. Now I'm super excited to showcase some Darth Nihilus gameplay with the Yodelicious alternative lineup. So let's see how the underdogs do. The guys that are on the bench that have been called up to play for a few minutes, not the star players. So we're not using Visus Mar here. So while you're grinding your hearts out on that single hard node for Visus Mar, you can use Barris Offy to have some great success and still have some some fun with Grandmaster Yoda's rework at the get-go. So at the beginning, I like to make sure that I don't have the Sith Assassin give turn meter to Darth Nihilus. That's very important. So I like to either disable her, reduce her turn meter, or just outright kill her at the very beginning of the match. I do want to quickly rewind here to make sure everyone starts off the match just right. So make sure that you're giving Master's training to Grandmaster Yoda right away, attacking Darth Nihilus, and then spreading out the foresight and the critical synergies, the critical chance, and the critical damage up buffs right away. Darth Nihilus is gonna open up with the force drain and you wanna make sure everyone has foresight. Also, it does not hurt to immediately start to hit much harder and make sure that you're more consistently critting, getting those critical chance up synergy buffs to the rest of your team at the get-go. Another quick tip that I have for you guys in running this team is to make sure that you save one of the side mobs, whether it be the Sith Assassin or the Sith Marauder and use a basic attack when they are less than 50% health with Grandmaster Yoda. Now, Grandmaster Yoda has offense up and defense penetration up. Those are great buffs that are gonna dramatically increase your damage and being able to spread that out to the rest of the team is also gonna be very good. So on top of the foresight and the critical damage and the critical chance energies, you also want to, from time to time, to be able to spread defense penetration up and the offense up buff. Also yet another tip for you guys is when you're using Ezra Bridger, basically almost all the time, I like to call Grandmaster Yoda to assist. Now, whenever you call Grandmaster Yoda to assist, he's doing his basic attack and on his basic, he's gaining 40% turn meter on that basic. So you can consistently gain a bunch of turn meter on Grandmaster Yoda. This is one of the reasons why I actually can get by with running only 70 speed coming from the mods. Now, of course, the more the better, but this is a great amount of turn meter generation that should not be overlooked. Also, be vigilant if you're using other alternatives like Ala Secura or Qui-Gon Jinn. They also have some assist mechanic ability so be vigilant on when you're using those other characters if you are and seeing how they could come into play with Grandmaster Yoda. My final tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you're planning ahead and you have at least one character that's able to stabilize one of your heroes after Darth Nihilus annihilates them. Here Jedi Knight Anakin got annihilated and now we need to bring him back up to full HP or close to it otherwise he will die immediately. Barris Offy did not have respect special available on cooldown, but thankfully Hermit Yoda did, which is great because these next few attacks would have killed Jedi Knight Anakin, ending our run prematurely. Now let's talk about damage. So with the squad that you've been watching this whole time with Jedi Knight Anakin and Barris Offy, some alternates here, I did 2.5 million damage, not even the perfect run, also running those sort of lackluster mods. So very impressive. I am very impressed with Grandmaster Yoda's rework. Any team that can do this much against Darth Nihilus is impressive. And without having to use also Visus Mar, I'm very pleased. I was not, you know, expecting to even break 2 million damage. So with better mods, better gameplay, and then if you want to put the new gear 12 pieces that are coming out shortly, I wouldn't be surprised if this team could actually also break 3 million damage. So at this point, I kind of want to know what you guys think about the Yodelicious lineup. What do you think about this alternative lineup? And let me know what you guys think about Grandmaster Yoda's rework. I really want to hear your thoughts down below. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, you found it informative, if you like the intro, whatever, let me know. Give me some feedback. Smash that like button. It helps my channel grow. And also stay tuned. Later this week, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be giving away some Lola headphones and also so a blue Yeti to some lucky followers and subscribers. Now let's take a look at the final few turns at the Enrage. I think I made a few mistakes, but I was able to have Hermit Yoda escape 
And what's very cool about this is that I can actually reuse Hermit Yoda wherever I want in the rest of the Sith raid. So that was actually very cool and exciting. So on top of doing 2.5 million damage here, I can actually reuse Hermit Yoda wherever I please, maybe on the resistance team or a very strong Wampa team in phase two of the Sith raid against Dar Scion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers. Watch what a guy. So delicious. Yo delicious. It's my high, so Yo delicious. delicious.